contemporary art has always just spoken to me. 25 years ago, while I continued my commitment to buying art of our region in the Pacific Northwest, I started buying prints and multiples of what I'll call the New York School. Jasper Johns and Lichtenstein and Rauschenberg and Oldenburg and Kerr Walker. The art that I buy and that I surround myself with does a couple things. I love work that I look at that just makes me smile, that doesn't really grab me intellectually, just makes me feel good. I love work that is uh, graphically challenging, like uh, Ellsworth Kelly or uh, other artists that uh, uh, are master color, colorists and, and uh, have shapes and forms that just uh, uh, make you go off to another dimension. Then there are artists like Kara Walker. And her work, it's disturbing. It grabs you. It forces you to deal with themes that sometimes you may not want to want to think about or deal with. So what artists do is they are at the forefront of putting in front of us issues and themes of our time. They're challenging us. They're prodding us and poking us. They're making us face values and issues in each one of us. But I know every time I see her work, I end up being better for it. The principal technique that she uses is silhouette. The same technique we all use when we were in grade school where you'd you know, cut out with black construction paper sort of a face image and you'd glue it onto a white piece of paper and you'd take it home and show your parents. It makes you think of uh, those Western scenes of a little house on the prairie and next to the fireplace, two little images of grandma or grandpa, warm feelings. But she uses that technique with images of civil war, of slavery, of, of, of issues of gender and race and power, slave owner and slave, of, uh, of gender issues, of, of who has power over who. So she uses a, a familiar warm technique with powerful graphic images that take hold of you and shake you up. The first piece I bought that, Keys to the Coop, it's as powerful today as it was when I first saw it. Each time I see the work, I see different things in it. Running after a chicken, and uh, were they running after it to get it for their slave master to bring to the kitchen, or were they getting it to eat themselves and sneaking, uh, sneaking uh, a chicken for, for their, their slave quarters? I think the whole word, word slave and enslaved, what does that mean? And let's take that to, to higher levels. While Kara Walker is showing us images of a certain time and place in, in her ancestry and in our history, think about artists for a second. Ultimately, when you boil it all down, there's two objectives they have. It's helping each of us learn how to see, the process of observing. The second thing is, is getting us to think. What we think, that's unique to each of us. But back to why be an artist? Because you've got some message you want to get out. But if everyone walks by your work and doesn't think about it, what have you achieved? So that's what she's trying to do in these different mediums. What's wonderful about those steel cut images is that they're three dimensional. And what I especially like is the way they're exhibited here with the light from the ceiling coming down. The shadows they create are a whole other artistic expression. It adds a fluidity and, uh, and, and movement and energy to those images. So you see them very flat, like the silhouettes in the, in the images of the prints. And yet you see with the shadow that tension between the two, uh, almost like what's the image behind the work. They're brilliant love them and the way they're displayed here is fabulous. I now have a collection of almost 9,000 prints uh, of probably 250 artists and I developed a program of sharing the work with the public. So we do this all for free, it's part of what I do philanthropically, but we've had a hundred exhibitions like this at 75 museums and generally have four or five exhibitions traveling at any one time. And as much as I have passion for the art, it is exceeded by the passion I have of sharing the art. And bit by bit, maybe at some point in the future, there'll be more understanding and tolerance, 
and a, and a happier day for lots of people right now that are as enslaved as many of the images in this exhibition uh, show us people were.